Jay four 0 clean sheet. It's pretty good day at the office, isn't it? Yeah, take that, take that most Saturdays. So um, no, really good. We um, I thought we controlled the game for large parts. Started the game slowly, but then um, once we got into it, I felt that after the first goal, then we um, we controlled the game. So it's it's good. It's a Kent derby. Ones you want to win, and after the back of a defeat, you want to obviously bounce back. Three goals in twelve minutes. What what happened in that period? Was it something that you picked out? Did you change gear? Oh, look, we had we had some good passages just before that. I think Jordan hit the post, and we had some good play. We we as a side, as a management team, we kind of asked the boys to get down the sides of them with legs, midfield runners, with wide lads, and and they did that. They took that on board, and when we did do that, we caused them problems. Um, scored some good goals. We, we we knew we had legs, and especially on the break. And was it um, Gardy's second one? I think we broke from the corner. Mo Dabra's sort of back post to marking, and he ends up. Crossing the ball for um, Garlic to score. So we scored good goals at a good time. And I think the third goal was a real killer. Um, especially, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you want. We're, we're a side that's got good legs. We play some good stuff. And today we've, we've shown that. And in the second half, we, we managed the game really well. Um, and, and obviously Jordan's got another good goal. You spoke about the third goal scored by Dabra. Dabra was excellent today, wasn't he? He was everywhere. Listen, the, 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 the kid's got energy at burn. And he was, as soon as we had the opportunity to get him in, we, we felt we needed to do that. And... Um, it's just his enthusiasm. The way he plays with that energy is how he trains. And um, he's, he's, a, he's a great lad, um, first and foremost. But he adds real energy to us. And he's got an assist and he's got his goal. And I'm, I'm delighted for him. And he's man of the match. And he, he fully deserves it. But as a, as a whole, I felt that if you look at it, there wasn't anyone that really had a bad game. Even like when we made the subs coming on, um, there was one negative, obviously, losing Jamie. But other than that, we were... Uh, we were well worth the win today. And that was a little bit of a blow before the break, wasn't it? Tell me about that because it seemed like the referee booked the player for maybe a, a fray arm, but surely that would be a red card. Is, is that your fray, opinion? Yeah, yeah? about fray arm. For, on, me, for me, it's, um, <laughs> it's an elbow. Um, like, look, if I'm wrong, if I look it back and I'm wrong, I'll, I'll apologise. But the referee at half time told me that she booked him for an elbow. Um, Jamie's eye is completely shut, he's in hospital. We, with concussion, it looks like. So there's a good chance we're now losing for 21 days, which is is a blow. But I just, I just think the minute you say I booked him for an elbow, then I don't know. I, I felt it was a it was a red card, but look, it's happened. Um, I'm just going for Jamie because he, he had a spell out injured. We get him back, and then we lose him. Parky, to be fair to him, come on, and I, I thought handled the situation really well, so that was good. Um, but yeah, that that is the one downside to today. I suppose Parky gives you that organisation in the second half bit of yeah. leadership. Yeah, we said that as as he come on. I sort of said to Blackie, it's not a bad, I'm not saying it's not a bad thing, Jamie going off, but your replacement's got good experience. Cody, Cody could have been involved today, but I felt it was a week too early, um, and I think I think to play that long would have been a big ask of him. So I thought Parky um, come on and did a good job. And uh, you expecting a, a reaction in the second half? It didn't really come, did it, from Dartford, and then another goal just to sort of cherry on top. Yeah, but again, you you've got to give us credit for that. Like you, at, at half time, I said game management's so important. Like there was a few times first half, I felt we could have been a bit more patient, and we weren't, and turned the ball over too easy, or or, or let, gave them a free entry into our box. So we kind of said, look, game management's really big second half, and and when we did that, we nullified what they were about. Um, and on the flip side of that, when, when we had the opportunity, we, we moved the ball. Could have kept it a little bit better at times. But look, Dartford are a decent side with good players, good manager. And they're going to ask a lot of questions of you, especially at 3-0 down. They made changes early. Um, but, but yeah, we dealt with it and I fully deserved the win. Four goals, clean sheet. A bit of an early Christmas present for the fans here. Just outside the playoffs. It's a bit of a run coming together now. What do you do going forward? <laughs> look, we, we, I've said all along, we're, we're a decent enough side. We've been on a good run. The, the big thing today was to to sort of bounce back from that defeat at Torquay, which was harsh on us. I think that's, someone said it was coming two defeats in 13 games now. So we're one of the form sides. We're enjoying it. We've got a good group who are enjoying everything. You come training, there's a good atmosphere. There's a good atmosphere around the changing room. And we've just got to keep that going. We're on our day. I think we're a match for most sides, but we have to just keep, have that consistency. And, and of late, that is what we've had. Um, and it, it helps when you're winning games because obviously the players buy into what you ask them to do a lot more. So. Um, We'll just take it a game at a time. We've got Taunton next week, which is a really tough game. We've, we found that the last few times we played. It was a tough team to play against. Big, strong, organised, having a good season. Um, and then obviously we go back to back Kent Derby again um, against Maystone. So some massive games coming up, but we're, we're going into it in, uh, in good form. Ahead of those games, can you just give me a bit of a squad update? Obviously, Jamie, maybe 21 days. Ben Swift, Cody Lyons, Foster, Billy French. Or yeah, uh, so Swifty, obviously, I think we'll lose for a couple of months still before he's training again. Um, 
Cody trained this week. I know he, he was desperate to be on the bench today, but I felt that if the if Woody got an injury early doors, we could have um, Woody get through it after the spell he's had out. So we decided not to go with him. He'll have a good week's training. He's available for next week probably, which is good ahead of schedule. Um, uh, and then uh, Bill French just needed some games really. He's he sort of had that one game against Avery, and other than that, he's not been able to break into the side. So I felt that he needed to go out and get some sharpness. So he's gone to Erif to get some games, and um, he'll play tomorrow. And he's a great kid who's still got a, a part to play at the club, but he just needs to get his match sharpness. Well, we look forward to the game against Taunton and then two first mates, which I'm sure you're well up for. We're up for all of them.